Um, okay, Nick, what's on your mind? Hey, Ted, thanks. Um, I am uh, putting together a um, membership site uh, around my writing and wondered if you might uh, talk or speak to that about marketing for something like that. So membership around your writing, can you, so is, are you helping people write or is this just kind of featuring your writing? Like you, people know you for certain thoughts or beliefs or opinions and they want to hang out with you? Uh, yeah, well, so um, I spent uh, like eight months, one winter living on a mile wide island in England uh, in the North Atlantic and kept a journal. And so I have like this, like eight month to a year kind of, material that I'd like to meter out through this like membership uh, site. Um, and there's a guy, there's a guy named Craig Maud that has kind of done a similar thing and huh. has, has made sort of a, a living out of this of, of like people supporting his creative work and people supporting his writing. And um, yeah, and so I thought like, oh, that might be really great. What kind of membership site are you thinking about? Uh, there's um, there's a platform called ghost.org where you can kind of build it. So it's like, basically it's like there are third tiers, like pay $10 a month or a hundred dollars a year or like $1,500 lifetime membership. And then, and then people have access to like all of my written work. So it's kind of like, mm, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Do you and is it similar to Mighty Networks in that way that it builds like a sort of social media style thing or? Uh, I'm not 100 percent sure. It's does it does it work like Facebook kind of in the like everyone creates a profile and then they can message each other or? Oh uh, no, it's it's more like it, it's more like I put out creative material like writing, um, say maybe illustration, yeah. maybe photography, and and. And, and people join to support that work and to be a part of maybe a community that is also interested in that same kind of thing. Is it like a Patreon or? A similar, yeah, similar to that. What's, yeah. diff what's different about it and Patreon? Um, it's instead of it being on Patreon, it's like I have my own website, my own URL, my own domain, okay. and then people join that site. And why this versus something like Substack? Uh, that is a very similar platform. And I think the advantage to something like Ghost is like if I wanted to have multiple streams or like multiple newsletters, then uh -huh. it would be easier to manage on, on that versus Substack is sort of more of a single stream from mm -hmm. what I understand. And um have you written books so far? Do you, are you a published author or is, or is this, all, you're going to be releasing this all for the first time in this way? Uh, I've been, parts of it have been published on other sites, but I haven't like written a book or anything. I mean, although this is like a book length thing, but yeah. Do you, do you think you will eventually write a book? Um, I would like to kind of keep going on this membership or mm. keep going. I'd like to launch it and then keep going uh, with this like membership platform as a way of mm, like writing for that. Yeah. So not necessarily writing for books, but writing for this like group of members. Uh, so first of all, there's a, a coach, Dan Blank, who works specifically with authors. Okay. And he, he's somebody I would absolutely check a very down to earth. I love this guy. Mm -hmm. um, and so he'd probably have a lot to say that I wouldn't even think to say. Okay. Dan Blank. Dan Blank, yeah. The um, boy, there's a potentially a very large conversation here. The questions yeah. that come up for me are just, well, who, you know, who are the people? Like, who would be interested in this? Who are the types of folks that would be drawn? Um, yeah, where would you find them? But where, where, where do you feel most stuck? Uh, hmm. Just how to how to reach out to people or or maybe like what like what is the value proposition for people like what's the you know like what's my pitch to people about like why um why this is valuable to them and I I resonated a lot with what you said about niche and having a point of view mm, yeah. you know that kind of thing it's yeah 
that's you're asking the right questions basically i could imagine i mean just from the little i know mm -hmm. the idea of i mean living on an island by yourself for a year, a year like that's badass so well, no, it was like a, it, there were 70 people there it wasn't oh, like okay. by myself <laughs> like okay still yeah. living on a tiny island like that that's a dream for a lot of people it was an amazing experience yeah yeah, there are a lot of people who's like, oh, my God, I would love to live on an island like that. Just get away from everything. Yeah. So the one of the things I'd be thinking about is what are the key themes of your work? Uh -huh. Like, is it getting off grid? Is it getting away from society? Is it a return to small living? Is it, is it um, return to local? Is it more about community? Is it daring adventures? Is it bucket list? Is it, you know, yeah. what like what are the core messages and there's an ebook i've got if you go to my website marketingforhippies.com slash books uh -huh. uh, i've got one little workbook called don't market yourself market your message uh -huh. and that's something worth thinking about is just what is your message uh, uh -huh. that you you know that would be the core message of this um of this membership uh -huh. uh, because then you basically just as the title says you don't market yourself you market your message you just talk about this and you say i'm this is a membership for people who are just as passionate about this message. They're just as passionate about blank. And we get together and we talk about how we're doing this in our own lives. And because once you have what the core message, and do you have any sense what that might be, Nick? Anything come to you? I mean, it, it is. I, I, I went to experiment with like living in small community and like working remotely and like, you know, and a lot of things that are sort of like feel relevant now you know, and, and, and like the beauty in nature and the, and the beauty of like living so close to the land and like, and living with, within a small community where like everyone supports each other. And like, there's, there's like an, there's an intimacy to that and a, and an interdependence and an interrelatedness that was so lovely. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So it could be people sharing their experiments in this um in their own life you know here's what i'm doing or you know mm -hmm. I'm, I'm here's how we're trying to and so again i just think that's that's the the heavy lifting to do is what exactly is the theme or the message like mm -hmm. the top three themes and if you can boil it down to a message or two mm -hmm. because then it's everybody's exploring that thing in their life yeah what does it mean to live small or to live local and mm -hmm. it's but because it's writing to me then it may be something about like i don't know maybe there's something about art in small communities like how are you bringing your creative spirit to these local communities or maybe it's for other authors in particular and it's a, a space for authors who are um wanting to also share some of their writing and you know that could be mm -hmm. part of it um and then you know part of the you know, I'm sure there are people who are coaches on on this specific kind of thing, but you can be hosting calls. You can be hosting like readings that you do on Zoom. Right. Uh, my friend, my friend Corin Raymond is a musician from Hamilton, Ontario, and in Canada, and singer songwriter. And yeah, during the lockdowns, he did some Zoom concerts. And I'm yeah, yeah, you could do you could do readings of you know and take questions about the writing and about your experience oh, uh, that yeah. you had. Uh -huh. Um you could be if people are also writing you could be offering feedback on people's writing and that could be another level of of coaching you know they put it in a google doc and you get feedback or um you could um also i mean you could interview people from that island you lived on get them on a zoom call and bring them in for you know a discussion you could be uh, interviewing other people who've lived done outrageous things if you know it's like yeah this person you know went and lived in the himalayas in a community where they didn't speak the language how was that for you you know yeah. you can have like a little podcast that you do and and you can do the model too where it's hey the first hour of this interview is available publicly but the second hour where we get into a bunch of juicy stuff you have to be paying mm -hmm. uh be in the members members site and then you get to hear these things right so yeah, yeah. I would keep digging in the clarity of and also like what do you what do you want this space to be what would be fun for you what would bring you alive I mean there's the what's attractive to them and unattractive but also for you like do you want to are you into poetry are you into 
yeah, nature photography? Are you into, you know, what are all those things and how can you make that space a place where those things get to appear? Right, 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 right. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks so much for that. Right, thanks for taking my call there at the end there. Or hey, my hands up. Yeah. Yeah, you're well. Where are you guys based, by the way? Um, I'm on Orcas Island, Washington. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'll be in Duncan, BC. So I'll be just sort of across the water from you a little bit. Right on. Right on. You're going to be on Salt Spring in October. Is that right? I will. Yeah. At the end of October, doing a marketing workshop and a storytelling workshop uh, out there as well. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Well, thanks so much. You're welcome. Take care, everyone. We'll wrap it there. See you down the road. Right on.